Lego Star Wars is about to get a whole lot more expensive. Hello everyone, it is I, Capitalism here, and today we are going to be talking about the increase in price of Lego Star Wars sets. And I am going to be saying something that you guys are not going to appreciate, but it is the truth and you all have to hear it. So with that said, I'm going to ask you all to hit that subscribe button and we are going to dive right on in to today's video. Hello everyone, it is me, your favorite capitalist, Republic Studs here. Uh, and today I'm going to be talking about some difficult concepts, difficult concepts that involve math and other complicated economic factors. So if you find that boring, uh, here's the quick synopsis. Lego is getting more expensive. Okay, if you don't want any details beyond that, you can click off this video just now. That's fine. And yes, I will be getting into the Lego Star Wars sets. That will be hit as well as reading articles. I just wanna explain to you guys the basic economics of the situation. For those who haven't noticed around the world, especially in the United States, things have gotten much more expensive. Uh, gas prices are up. Food is up, cars are up, other items are up in price. Uh, and that is for a number of factors. The main of which being that little sticker you see on gas stations pretty often. And obviously I am not here to explain fully why we are in an inflationary spiral, but long story short, some geniuses have decided that we are going to print out more dollar bills, which means the more dollar bills you print out, the less valuable each dollar bill is. And really when it comes to economics and things like Lego, it is a supply and demand game. So if you have a lot of supply and not a lot of demand, then you're not going to sell something. And if you have a low supply and a high demand, you're going to sell everything. And currently a lot of things are in demand. Gas is in demand. Lots of other things are in demand that contribute to getting a Lego set to your store shelves so that way you could buy them. If you are buying a Lego set online, they have to pay for the gas to ship it overseas. They have to pay for the gas to get it to your house, that vehicle that drives it there. They have to do that among a plethora of other factors. And also an important point to mention, I just wanna really repeat, is that we do not cover all the economic circumstances of why Lego is raising their prices. I like to focus on gas and transportation because that is a big factor, uh, but obviously production of the plastic itself, everything is involved there. I don't cover all of it, I just cover the stuff that's most tangible uh, that you all can understand. And I will be honest, I will be defending Lego in this circumstance because this current situation is honestly not their fault. Uh, and quite frankly, it's been a long time coming. So let's read an article from Brick Fanatics. This says, Lego announces their prices will rise later this year uh, and amid increased cost. Uh, and basically in due to increased raw material, despite the company's profits soaring over the past couple of years, Reaching a staggering 1.5 billion in 2021, the Lego Group has taken the decision to increase the price of some of their sets. We also know that it won't be a blanket increase, it will be a small uh, percentage increase, usually a single digit increase uh, over the course of time. This is set to go into effect in August and September. They also put out a statement saying we will continue to ensure our products offer great value and fully recognize how important this is to our fans and everyone who loves our products. There is also a statement from the Lego Ambassador Network engagement team uh, that emphasizes the prices are ultimately determined by retailers such as Walmart or Target or other stores like that. Uh, and basically this will change obviously depending on what stores you are buying from. We know these price ranges are going to be changing anywhere from 5 to 25% depending on these sets and most of these sets will be affecting more adult centered sets and less of the play scale sets. Now I would like to establish something right away uh, that I don't really fully agree with the way they framed in this article. Uh, Lego did have a lot of profits this year, that is fully true. Lego at the same time is also not a charity. They have to grow their business in order to make more Lego sets. And the more Lego sets they make, the more customers they get, the cheaper they are able to make things. Right now, obviously, we are in an inflationary spiral where things are more expensive to make. Uh, and quite frankly, I am genuinely shocked they haven't already raised their prices. Now, with certain sets, they certainly have. You could look at sets like the Snow Trooper Battle Pack, $20 Battle Packs. Uh, it's not fully adjusted for inflation just yet, but it's probably going to get there at the rate uh, inflation is going at this point. And due to a lot of these factors, they have decided to mark up some of the prices of these sets. So from Stone Wars D, we have confirmation of some of these sets that will be getting markups. Uh, some are older, some are newer. Most of these are relatively expensive, but I would like to get into them. First up, we have the 
2019 Millennium Falcon, that is a 6% price hike to $170 from $160. We have the Imperial TIE Fighter, that is from $40 to $45, a 13% increase. The Darth Vader helmet, which I already thought was overpriced, from a $70 set to an $80 set, that is a 14% increase. The Child set, which is a $80 set, going to a $90 set, a 13% increase. The new Cad Bane Justifier, yet to be released, We'll be changing its prices uh, from $160 to $170. The Attack of the Dark Troopers, that is a $30 set right now. It will be going for $35, a 17% price increase. The new Mandalorian's Naboo Starfighter, which I just reviewed, and it sucks. I bought it at $60. It will be going up in $5 in price, 8% up. The Luke Skywalker's Red 5 helmet, that is going from $50, $60 to $70. We move a little further forward, and the Mandalorian helmet is also going from $60 to $70. The Death Star Trench Run is going from $60 to $70, both all 17% price hikes. Jedi Dagobah Training is going from $80 to $90, which is a steep one. That's, that's 13%. The ATST that I believe has yet to be revealed for this year, uh, the Junior Set, that already probably is overpriced. From $30, that is going to go for $35 now, a 17% increase. And finally, the new Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter, $30. It is going to be raised to $35. Again, a 17% increase. And you can pre-order that now. I will leave a link down below. And I will leave links to as many of these as possible on Amazon. So buy these now while they are still at their regular price. With that said, a lot of people are angry. And I fully understand that. Inflation is awful and it's not good. And while Lego certainly isn't the most essential thing, it is a broader microscopic example of all of the stuff going on. Obviously, if anyone out there knows any adults, anyone who drives, uh, you know that gas has become extraordinarily expensive to drive around anywhere. Food has become extraordinarily expensive. There are shortages everywhere. While luckily we haven't been dealing with any major Lego shortages as far as I'm aware, uh, we are going to be dealing with these price hikes. Nobody comes away from this scot-free. And I need you guys to understand, again, Lego is not a charity. Their job is not to be nice. They have said they have tried their best. They have tried, actually, they have been running at a loss in some circumstances with regards to some sets, if not breaking even. They need to grow their business. They need to be able to make a certain level of profit so they can continue to grow and continue to provide you with products. Uh, at as an affordable rate as possible. And right now they are not in a, a climate where they can keep the prices lower. And again, certain things like the minifigure packs, they are well-priced $5. They don't need to be more than that. Certain things like the battle packs, they are $20 now. You do not need to be, adjust that any further. They are well-adjusted, if not over-adjusted. Uh, and overall, it is a really unfortunate situation. And hopefully the prices will come down in the future. Uh, but for the foreseeable future, that does not look to be the case. And this sucks. Price raises suck. Nobody is more upset about this than I am. But I feel like I still have to defend Lego. This was not their choice. And I've seen some things like people will throw out, they made a billion dollar investment uh, with Epic Games. That is true. Also, big thing, that is an investment. They are looking to get that money back. Uh, and, and that is a just a way they're just putting in money to get regular money out. It's not like they just have money in a magic Scrooge McDuck bank they can just pull out and make Lego sets cheap. Now with that said, one thing I would like you all to remember uh, is not all is lost. A little bit of optimism and a little bit of a case that makes you feel a little more comfortable buying Lego Star Wars sets, especially Lego Star Wars sets because that is my main focus. Lego Star Wars sets are fantastic at holding their value. Even open, if you go online and search for any retired Lego Star Wars set opened, with figures, with everything, even excluding the box, you go on eBay and look at a retired Lego Star Wars set, you are guaranteed to get the money you spent on that set back. Almost certainly you are going to get extra on top of that. They go up in value incredibly. Uh, and that is one of the great things of Lego Star Wars. They retain their value, if not exceed the value. So if you ever decide one day, okay, you need money, maybe you're not as big of a fan of this set, you could go sell it and make your money back. These things hold value well. That is something very important to consider. It is like gold. The short-term price hikes are going to hurt. Absolutely. I am most upset about this. I had budgeted for all this year, and now they have all these new price hikes, and I'm like, oh, gosh, I got to readjust. 
But beyond that, it obviously sucks. And you have to consider all of those things. Just consider that these are things. It's like you're buying an asset. Uh, and you could choose to sell that asset one day. You could choose to keep it. It's up to you. But either way, that is my take on the Lego price hike situation. It is very unfortunate. And I am beyond upset that this has to happen. I am happy it has taken this long for Lego to do it. And again, we still have until the end of September. So remember, August is a great time to buy your sets up. Uh, July is a great time to buy your sets up. But either way, if you would like to see capitalism studs return, uh, then, then comment down below because I find this quite interesting uh, and I have read up a decent amount on economics. So I feel like I have a, a decent amount in say in the effect it has. And yeah, so with that said, I hope you guys all enjoyed uh, this Lego is about to get more expensive video. I will see you all in the next one. Remember to peace out and stay awesome.